Kugor Nagashlem to Udongsan Hima. Last week, I made a visit to Delhi, and uh, during my visit, uh, I had met a large number of uh, ministers from the government of India and officials uh, to take up a large number of issues pertaining to the development of the state. Um, some of the more important meetings were with um, the Tribal Affairs Department and um, an important issue there which we had discussed which the Honorable Education Minister has already given you details but I'll just add to it that there was a big concern about uh, the EMRS schools, uh, the fact that uh, the overall progress of the work uh, in these schools is not at the pace as we would want it to be. So therefore, after discussing with the Tribal Affairs Minister, we are setting up a task force which will be headed by myself uh, as a chairperson, the Chief Minister, and uh, there will be members from obviously the Education Minister and the Education Department will be there, and the members from WebCourse, which is one of the implementing agencies, and the MIDC, which is the Manipur Industrial Development Corporation, and officials from the uh, Ministry of Tribal Affairs. And the objective of this task force will be to ensure that uh, all the different issues concerning land and other aspects which are leading to the uh, slowdown of the uh, in overall implementation of the scheme will be taken up by this task force. Apart from that, uh, the Tribal Affairs Minister has informed us that the Government of India, the Tribal Affairs Ministry, has decided to take up a large number of tribal villages uh, for overall development purpose uh, in different tribal states of the country. They have identified 836 villages, uh, plus minus 10. I don't remember exactly 836 or 846, but uh, approximately 830 plus. Uh, villages have been identified in Meghalaya, which will now be taken up in the next five years for overall development um, and gap uh, funding in whatever areas that are required. The objective being to make these villages uh, self-sufficient in one way, make these villages uh, overall have the facilities that they require. So uh, the Ministry of Tribal Affairs will actually fund uh, these villages. And um, as I said, it will be done in a five-year plan. And for this also, uh, we have uh, organized a meeting which is going to take place next week along with the Joint Secretary of the Concerned uh, Project where these villages will be taken up. And as I said, this list of villages have already been finalized and uh, will be uh, starting the implementation of these development projects in these villages funded by Ministry of Tribal Affairs uh, in the next few months to come. Uh, regarding the EMRS, the Honorable Education Minister has already informed that there was a concern whether for the recruitment of the teachers, since it's a central uh, sponsored project, uh, whether the state policy or the national policy will apply. And uh, during the course of our meeting, it was clarified to us that the state reservation policy will be applicable uh, for the recruitment in these particular schools. With the National Highway, uh, and the um, Honourable Minister of Road and Surface Transport. And we have submitted additional projects for CRF, that is Central Road Fund. And at the same time, we have asked for additional funds uh, to uh, take up more projects on national highways. Uh, on both the fronts, we have got a very positive response from the Government of India. And uh, we're hopeful that we will get more additional funds for additional projects in this financial year under the National Highway, uh, as well as under CRF, uh, with some intervention from Finance Department of the State and the Finance Department from the Centre, we are hopeful that certain more projects will be there under CRF also. We also had a uh, meeting with the Jal Shakti Minister, uh, so projects regarding Jal Jeevan Mission, as well as the uh, minor irrigation projects were also taken up. Some other, um, some old pending dues uh, to the state amounting to approximately about uh, 70 80 crores uh, was taken up and the government has agreed to release those funds immediately to us. 
and at the same time we have also asked for additional 70 projects to be taken up under the minor irrigation and uh, government of India uh, is positively considering those projects also. I would also like to uh, inform you that uh, the, uh, regarding the independent inquiry matters relating to MBCL, the committee has been set up on the 30th of June 2021, uh, which means about nine days back. And this is a committee that will be headed by Justice Ifaqat Ali Khan, who is a retired judge of the Allahabad High Court, Sri Manoj Kumar, who is a retired IS officer, and Sri Shushkir Kumar, who is a retired, retired executive director of the RDC as a technical member. This committee has been asked to have its initial meeting, first meeting on Monday itself. So we are expecting that they will have their first meeting virtually on Monday or on Tuesday. And uh, necessary arrangements like office space, place to stay, staff, all the necessary arrangements have been made. And uh, we are expecting that this committee should be able to start its work uh, as early as next week. And the first meeting, uh, I'm told, is uh, most probably going to take place next week uh, on Monday or on Tuesday. At the same time, uh, we have also, I have also issued an order to constitute a single member independent inquiry into the social welfare matter uh, regarding the rice and the quality of the food products uh, which was raised uh, in different quarters. So the uh, Chief Secretary has been asked to uh, find out names of uh, independent, uh, uh, sorry, of retired judges of high courts so that uh, we can select a one-member committee and uh, we expect that this committee, once it's formed, should be able to submit the report to us within three months' time. Similarly, even the committee on MECL has also been asked to submit the report within three months. Uh, last week, uh, some members had asked me, or the press had asked me about the expenditure that uh, is incurred in COVID. I'd like to inform you that for this second wave in 2021-22, there has been for medical department, including NHM and DHS, an expenditure of approximately 240 crores have been spent. And um, this includes mostly equipments uh, that are being used to fight COVID, um, ranging from obviously prefab structures uh, to procurement of different COVID items to procurement of oxygen cylinders. Uh, so it has been slightly more different. There's of course also salary components, uh, supplies and materials. Um, all these aspects also are there. At the same time, we also had to uh, have expenditures in the Corona Care Centers and uh, equipments including ambulances, masks and PPEs. Uh, we also had to spend on labs and surveillance uh, amounts, uh, oxygen concentrators. So all these expenditures in total have come to about 240 crores for the second wave. Uh, that uh, there have been a, a lot of uh, uh, concern in the, SM, in, the um, in the media and among the public also regarding uh, certain incidents that took place in, uh, in uh, Delhi and uh, NCR where uh, two people, uh, late Samuel and late Rosie Sama from Limapur, uh, died in uh, different circumstances. And uh, so therefore the clarity in this was something that has been sought by the people at large. Um, I have spoken to the family members of late Samuel and uh, they had told me that they will be filing an FIR very soon. And therefore we were waiting for those FIRs to be filed. In the meantime, I received a representation from the Nagaland Garo Tribal Council on July 5th. And based on this, I have written a letter to Sri Arjun Kejriwa and to uh, Sri uh, Manohar Katalji, Chief Ministers of uh, Delhi and of Haryana, to look into this matter and put up an inquiry into uh, the circumstances in which uh, these lives were lost. So we hope that uh, we will get some positive response 
on this issue also. Different uh, cryogenic plants in the COVID hospitals in the state. Uh, we are at a very advanced stage to s complete the cryogenic plants, both in Jinjan as well as here in Shillong. And uh, we are hopeful that uh, both these plants, yeah, both these plants should be up within the next two weeks' time. In fact, we will be able to uh, start trials of these plants uh, in maybe a week's time from now, especially the Shillong one. The trial will start uh, within one week's time, and then we're hopeful that uh, after that, once the trials are successful, that these plants will be fully operational. And this will ensure that uh, if we are hit by the third wave, uh, then we will be in a much better position in terms of the supply of oxygens uh, for the long run.